Hello friends, today I'd like to show to you um, an inexpensive way to make dancing videos and any type of um, motion videos without having to um, spend too much or do too much really. It's pretty simple. First, you're going to need the program. Um, you're going to need the program Dancing. Dancing. It's on Steam. I'll link an image. or I'll put a link down so that you can see specifically what I'm talking about. So I'm going to tell you how to make your own motion files for this program using another program, a companion program called um, 3D Pose Tracker, in which you can make your own VMD motion files. And so what you're going to do is you're going to download this program. I'm going to link you to it. And then you're going to um, just take your camera, whatever camera you have, it doesn't really matter, and record a video of yourself dancing or doing whatever motion you want. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to use this video I took from YouTube of this woman doing the dance um, from the music video Worthering Heights by Kate Bush, just as an example, because I don't, I don't want to show a video of me dancing, that would be embarrassing. Okay, so you're going to go to 3D Pose Tracker, and you're going to, um, first what you're going to do is you're going to configure it, because first it's going to be set to record BHV files, and what you need is to record VMD files, and so you're going to set it, you're going to configure it, and you are going to um, set the output to VMD, and then you're going to say, okay, and then you're going to load in movie. That's where you're going to um, find your motion, your, your, your dance, that's going to be your video of you dancing or whoever else dancing. You're going to find your video. It's going to take a little while to set up. Now the tricky part is that you have to record it yourself. And so it's going to be um, kind of janky. But that's okay because it's free. The program itself is free. And so anyway, whenever you're ready, you're going to hit um, record. I'm going to wait for her to stand up because I'm not taking the full dance this time. I'm just using it to um, make an example. This Heath Cliff. It's me. It's okay. So we're going to record here. I'm going to warn you that this doesn't work perfectly. It is like janky. It's not really as good as probably having like motion trackers on your limbs is going to be, but it, it does the trick. And so, um, I think you, you might also get better results if you have a better computer than me. So anyway, um, I'm gonna capture that. <laughs> her hand is cutting through her head. That's fine though. But anyway, what the, what the model is doing here, it doesn't really matter, matter what model you use, it's going to work for anything, but, um, you just let her capture the dance. And that's enough. This is just an example, as after all, and so I'm going to save this as example. And then, alright, we don't need this anymore, I'll close it. Alright. Next, you're going to boot up Dancing, and it doesn't really matter what model you have loaded into Dancing either. And then you're going to add in your, um, your motion that you just made. You're going to go into Load Motion. I'll upload my example, VMD, and then we'll put it in here. And she will do what we just recorded. Isn't that cool? So, in order to get this into VC Face, so the um, motion applies to your model, and you can see it in VC Face or whatever capture program you're using, like OBS, you're going to um, look at this um, VMC sender configuration, and you're going to input the port number into VC Face. I'll show you that. Let me open up VC Face now. Bring back up the settings menu. Let's see, can you see my settings on screen? You can, cool. So then you're going to go to General Settings. And right now I am configured to a different motion program. I'm configured to um, VR Imposing. But if I want to capture this dance here in VC Face, I'm going to change the port to 3333. And um, it should... Sometimes you have to uh, reload your model in, but this should, after I start configuration, start applying to me now. Let me see. Yep, let me just um, fix the screen a bit. 
Let's restart that motion from the beginning and look at that. Look at this. Look at the, look at these cool dance moves. And so you see, um, it's a little janky, but that's fine. And of course, you can do that with your own custom dances. If you want to see, I'll show you some that I made myself. Um, let me see here. Okay, let me get rid of my example that I just made here. And here is one that I made the other day. This was just me recording myself. Dancing around my room to the killing moon. I don't know. I was I was in a spooky goofy mood you see <laughs> And so now you can make your own dance files. The world is your oyster. You know, you don't have to dance You can you can climb you can crawl you can do whatever you want to do the world is your oyster friend Look at look at my sweet moves The question is now if your moves are going to surpass mine Thank you for watching my lame tutorial, and I hope you have fun. I should warn you that dancing itself is, um, $10, but I find it to be worth it. And, um, 3D Pose Tracker is absolutely free, and of course, your own dance moves are absolutely free. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.